ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, Michael, Mikey Cologne. If you're new and you're stopping by, I appreciate your time as always. If you like videos about fragrances, unboxing, first impressions, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It'd be a great help. Right. Today, I'm doing an unboxing and first impressions on a cheapie, and it's coming from a house I've never... I've had nothing to do with, I've never smelt any of their fragrances. And the fragrance house is called Fragrance World. And the name of the fragrance is Ambre Eve. And Barakat, I believe, is one of their premium lines. This, I believe, is an, their interpretation of Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kirchhoff. So we're going to find out together. As you can see, it's still sealed. I don't know the notes. As I was sort of just looking to see what fragrances to get next, this kept catching my eye, and I think it's meant to be similar to that fragrance. If it is, well, we'll soon find out. I do have a sample of Grand Soir as well, one next to me, so let's do it. So this is a 100ml bottle. And I believe it is other perfum concentration. Let's just rip that out of there. See that as you can see that you've got it says Mason Fran Fragrance World there. And then you've got the name of the fragrance, the size, the concentration at the bottom. Alright, hang on. Hold up. Oh my god. I don't know how to open it. I think I'm going to end up busting the box. I actually don't know how to open this box without breaking it. I must be stupid. Oh, I'm, going to to, I'm just going to have to bust the box because otherwise we're going to be here all day. Hang on a minute. Look at that box. What does that remind you of? Just have a look. What does that remind you of? Right. There you go, a plain and simple box to open. Damn. Oh, hello. And what does that remind you of? Right, just nothing inside the box that... Look at that bottle. That even looks like Grand Soir. It does, doesn't it, right? Okay. Let's just spray it and then we'll look up the notes in a minute because I really, I really want to see what this smells like. Right, cap is plastic, not metal. It's plastic, really light. It's primary atomizer, not bad atomizer. Hmm. God, that's nice. That's very nice. Right. Right, straight away with the name Amb Ambre Eve, you know it's got amber in it, you get that. There's definitely vanilla in this, 100%. But I don't think it's that close to Grand Soir, you know. There might be benzoin or labdanum in here. That's very nice. That is very nice. Right. Let's look up the notes quickly. Hang on. We're going to do this. I always look up the notes live so we do it together. Let's go and fragrantica. No, hang on. It's not coming up with fragrantica. Hang on. One minute. Oh, I've got it on the website I got it from. Right, top, Spanish labdanum, or labdanum. Mid benzoin seum. I don't know what the seum is. And it says base, Brazilian tonka bean, amber, and vanilla. Right, hang on. I've got Grand Soir here. Look. I don't know if you can see the writing on there. Yeah. 
kind of, this opens a little bit more, this opens more sweet. And to my nose, I know it's not got patchouli listed in the note breakdown, but this labdanum or labdanum and the amber is sort of giving it this sweet, cakey patchouli vibe which I don't get in Grand Soir. I'll tell you what though, people, this smells fantastic. It really does. To me, maybe because they've both got amber in, I suppose, but this is doing its own thing compared to that, and I like what this is doing. This is great. This is actually a really nice fragrance. I think I picked this up for £29.99, so £30 in the UK. I mean, look at the presentation on that. That just, when I first opened that box, I thought it was gonna be a straight up Grand Soir dupe, but there are similarities, but this is doing its own thing. To me, that initial blast, I swear I could detect patchouli. I'll tell you what this fragrance more smells like. Right, hang on, one second. See this, Ambre Premier from Javoy. This reminds me of this. Not really Grand Soir, maybe a tad, but if there was, if I was gonna compare it to anything that I have in my collection, I would compare it to this. This is a beautiful smelling fragrance. And that, the initial sprays, this is great. A 100 ml bottle for 30 pound. And obviously you could tell it's gonna be a cold weather scent. So yeah, to me it's got more comparison to that from Javoy. It's not, I, I, can't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, it don't smell complex by the notes, it's not complex. Really all you're getting is labdanum, that amber, the benzo in that's in there, so it's literally just an amber bomb, to be honest with you. And like I say, I, I, I could pick, I don't know if it's just my nose playing tricks on me, but I swear there's like an undercurrent of patchouli in there. I really can detect patchouli. But anyway, Pete, well, right, that's just my unboxing and first impression, so it wasn't more exciting. It's, it's not a complex fragrance. Grand Soir, maybe a tad out of far fetch, but it more smells like Ambre Premier to me from Javoy. Am I uh, regretting picking this up? No way. I'm going to rock this in the cold weather, definitely. I will do an up to date video in a week or two to let you know how long it performs for and what the longevity is like and the silage and projection and everything like that but people thanks for sticking with me i appreciate your time remember spending good's always a pleasure and never a chore and i will see you on the next one